Two ball clubs, one division. Tigers on the road as Detroit goes up against the Chicago White Sox. Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. It's the dog days of summer. We'll try and give you a pick me up. Major League Baseball. Hi, everybody. Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Cruck on 2K Sports. A look at Carlos Quentin, no doubt, getting ready for some offensive punch. Cellular Field in Chicago. The White Sox looking for a little home magic. And it'll be the right-hander, Eric Bedard, our starting pitcher. Steve, what do you think the strategy is going to be against this Detroit powerhouse? Oh, sending a good lefty to the mound in this ball game here, but this is a great lineup, a lineup that can really beat up even some of the best pitchers in the game. So he's going to have to be on top of his game in order to do it and rely upon that movement on his pitches. Sponsored by Pepsi, a chance to check out the Tigers' line. It's going to be Inge. Last game for the Tigers was a win. So after splitting the first two games, a good outing to finish that series ahead 2-1 to one against the Rays. Bedard gets set and delivers. Really bad pitch right there. It's a ball. Now the 1-0 pitch. And in swings and misses at that one. That evens up the count. Bats came alive in that last game late in the ballgame. Well, anytime you have an offense like this that can come back in the game, that's a great win. There's a strike bottom half of the zone. One and two now. Now, if you got a chance to watch the last ball game, you saw the quality at bat he had. He worked the count, got a pitch he could hit, and hit the ball out of the ballpark. Good piece of hitting. Nice job. You're out. And in, swinging through it, strike three. This is where you want to go with two strikes on the hitter. You want to go down out of the zone. He swings through it, couldn't make contact with that one. And it's Carlos Guillen in the box now. One out, nobody on. Swing and a line into right center. And that one's down. That's the team's first hit. Now batting. Well, he stayed behind the ball right there real well. Got himself that one out base hit. Runner on for Miguel Cabrera. The 0-0 delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. Hit one on the ballpark last time out, solo home run, and look for him to have some momentum coming into this game now, feeling good about himself. Right two. And with two strikes on him now, Cabrera needs to be protective of that zone. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They pounded a fastball down and in for a strike. The pitch. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. Now a quick look for this game of the White Sox and how they are positioned in the field. Number 30. Infield, outfield factors in this one, Steve. Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. So with one down, it'll be Maglio Ordonez. Swung on line to right center field. And Detroit should pick one up. What more do you need to see? Now you have to question his confidence. Giving up three straight hits. Not much going right out there at this point. It's Rayburn at the plate. You know, they've done themselves quite a job here. This is a nice push at this point of the ball game to get out in front. Well, they staked out an early lead in this one, just where they want to be. Well, you know, when you hit like this in the first inning, you start to anticipate maybe a healthy bit of run support coming in this game. Well, working on the old one count now. Oh, Gary, they're taking advantage of some early pitching mistakes. You have to do that because you never know if those mistakes are going to happen later in the game. Take advantage of the opportunities. Headed for the middle. And another, wow, that hitting coach is smiling. Cabrera's going to try and score here. There's the throw, and Cabrera will score. Great hitting or poor pitching, I'm not sure which. He may be running out of gas, but that's now four straight hits against him. Not looking real good. One out with runners at first and second.
Runners on first and second with one out. And he lays it down. He'll try to beat it out. Bedard. And a chance now to see where the Tigers sit in the American League ranking. Tenth in home runs. They were tenth in strikeouts. And they have not hit with runners in scoring position. They've really got to look at their approach at the plate. They look like they're pressing a little bit too much. Over to second for one. Over to first. He is safe. Almost a double play. Not quite enough time. Well, as a pitcher, there's absolutely nothing you can do about this. You hate these type of hits, but he makes a great pitch. The ball just hit in an absolute perfect spot where no one can get to it in time to beat him on the throw to first. And Eric Bedard delivers strike two. He's in control in this A.B. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. And he's heading for third. And the run and comes in. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. That's a perfect pitch from the pitcher. A great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up on how he throws to this guy. Strike one! And it's Everett batting. Well, this may be one of those games. Where ground ball headed for the middle. Back up. Throws the first side is retired. Well, that's the kind of first inning you want. Big early runs. The Tigers lead four to nothing. And doing the pitching, Max Scherzer. He'll be the starter for Detroit. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? I've oh, got a good right-hander on the mound and a good lineup that he's facing right here. And it's going to come down to execution on either side to see who prevails. And the 0-1 by Scherzer, the right center. And so Damon retired. One away. And it's Alexei Ramirez now. One away. One of the best batting averages in the league. Pitch on the way. Now he swings, hits this one very high, deep left center field. Goodbye, home run. Still down by three runs with that homer, but maybe some steam going here. But Gary, they need to continue to score, but already the White Sox have some momentum and they've drawn close. Swings and misses at the fastball, 0 and 1. And if you're the pitcher on the mound, you had yourself this great lead, and now all of a sudden even that's disappeared. Yeah, now he's going to have to shake it off a little bit, get his concentration back, and go after the next guy. And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. Number 20, Carlos Clinton. A key contributor in that last win. Three big hits in that game, and he's seeming to find a way again to get it started. There's a swing and a hit deep into center field, way back there, and out of here, a home run, two runs, one swing. Now they're really making strides to come back there within one. Nice job by this offense to put the pressure on the pitcher. Now he has to throw strikes to try to get him out. Nobody on base, one away. Swung and a fly ball. A foul ball. Now swing and a shot toward second. And Beckham set down. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup Ozzy Guillen's got going. Scouting Big John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, one of the more powerful swings you will ever see. I mean, Jim Tomey's a big, big man, six foot three, over 250 pounds. So if you're a pitcher and you're facing Jim Tomey, you make a mistake, there's a pretty good chance, and don't be surprised or shocked that he hits it out of the park. And Alex Rios up. And uh, at the plate. One of the tops and run scored, top five. That'll retire the side, caught by Guillen. 
Pitcher struggling, Max Scherzer. Well, he's been hit out of the yard twice today. Next up, Tigers. And if you were just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crutch, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And in settles in for the first pitch. Takes a big hack at that one, but misses one strike. Perhaps this one foul to the right. Strike three called on the fastball. What a way. Now we're going to get a chance, Gary, to see the four seam fastball in KK. Yeah. Oh, two strikes, you got to protect. You can't just look at that pitch go down the middle. Johnny, uh, he certainly wasn't expecting another fastball there. Oh, well, that's the problem. You can adjust to off speed, but if you look for something slow and get a heater, you're done. No balls, one strike. Here's Bedard. A swing and a batted ball. Damon, two retired here. And a chance to check out the schedule for the White Sox. Final game with Detroit is Sunday. Following that, it'll be a road series to play the Twins and their hitter, Delman Young. The team they beat in the previous series between the two. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. After that, they kick off a series with the Kansas City Royals, a little division rivalry. A team they didn't have too much trouble with in their previous series. A lot of road games on the way. Base is empty with two outs. Bedard gets set and delivers. Fastball swung out and missed, 0 and 1. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. And with two strikes on him now, Cabrera needs to be protective of that zone. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. And uh, that half inning finished with a strikeout. And they're held in check here in this half inning. Leading it off, A.J. Brzezinski. Right there on the top five in home runs. Brzezinski. Swing and a liner to left. And that'll put Brzezinski on first. That brings up Martin. Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. It's the quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. And one of the top ten averages right now. Swing and a miss on the pitch from Scherzer. Here's the delivery. Back up the middle. And that'll put Tien on first. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Uh, 0-1 mistake right here. He throws it over the heart of the plate, and he pays for it. And as Jim told me in the box now. Looking to carry the momentum from last game when he had Swings, clobbers it deep. Left center field. Home run, a three-run shot. A huge three-run homer puts them up by two. Well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. First pitch on the way to Damon. And Scherzer throws that one outside. It'll be a ball. This is a really momentum feel home run. Uh, you get it at this point of the ball game. You add some juice to the whole offense. Well, this could be a decisive moment in the game. And these hits early on could ultimately impact the result at the end of the game. Damon swings and misses for strike one. A look at the numbers in this matchup. 3-0-2 against the Tigers. Swing and a miss. Damon not making contact to even it up. Now, just talk about what the back pages. All you have to do is hit three home runs, and that's what he did to get the back pages. Three jacks in one game. Full count. Here's Scherzer. Strike three. Damon on a swing and a miss turned away. This one's right down the middle. He just swung and missed at it. Better check his back for a hole. That's going to be Armando Galarraga on the mound. He's been chosen to take over out there. 
Well, this is clearly the right call. He didn't have it at all today. Completely lost out there. You've got to bring somebody in to stop the bleeding. Let's see if they can do it. Liner towards the hole. And Cabrera gloves that one. Here are some teams that have uh, really been seeing the ball well. The highest batting averages for the last 10 games, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Royals in second. In third, the Indians. Fourth, the Red Sox. And for the Orioles, hit sharply towards the hole. And he'll step on first to retire the side. They come from behind to take the lead, a three-run inning. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. Cleanup batter, do up next. Quick look at Ozzie Guillen looking up. I'm glad he is that that tide has turned as they've reversed the way this ball game had started. Now the pitching's got to do their part. Here's the pitch. That swung on, grounded up the middle, fielded by Ramirez, and that will retire Odonia. It's a nice throw by the shortstop, and the key to that is having good feet. When an infielder makes bad throws, it's not because of his arm, it's because of his feet. This one's grounded foul, wide at first. Drops down a butt. Bedard, throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. Second base, number 30. It's going to be Santiago now. He's one for one so far. One out man on first. Here's the first pick. Runs up to bunt, gets this one down. And Przinski picks it up. Throw the first, gets him in there at two down. That pitch down the zone, a good one to bunt and get on top of, and he does an exceptional job advancing the runner. Now we're gonna play a little small ball in this game. Hey, whatever it takes. Now Przinski positions himself. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Gone strike on a fastball, and it's 0 and 2. That's a good, hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. And that puts that potential tying run on base. There's the throw. And Rayburn scores. Boy, this lineup, they are hot right now. The chances, they are productive. Boy, I don't know on that count, Steve. Number one, the fact that he swung is kind of a surprise. I don't know how he hit that where wow. it was. You're right. On an 0-2 oh. count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing. But sometimes it works out. Strike one! It's now one ball, one strike. He watched that fastball that was in there. A look at the lifetime numbers. He's 260 against the White Sox. So they score once on two hits, one man left. Tigers really battling here to get into this game. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. He homered earlier in the ball game. Number He's swinging the bat very well today, doing a little bit of everything. Driving in runs, hit the ball out of the ballpark, having a good ball game. Slider swung out and missed. 0 and 1. On his last game, came so close to hitting for the cycle. Got the home run on the single and double, but fortunately, just couldn't come up with a triple. Swing and a miss on the sinker. One away. Here's a better look at that sinker. Number a good job of coming in on his hands to make him miss that. Great work done right there. He almost corkscrewed himself into the ground, John. Now have to shorten the stroke or open up a little bit to be able to turn on a pitch like that. Well hit towards the middle. And that gets through for a base hit. Time to take a look at the on-base percentage leaders brought to you by State Farm. These guys really understand the nature of the game. They understand that they cannot help the pitcher retire them. They force the pitcher to throw it over the plate. They can put it in play and get a base hit, or they'll take a walk. So that'll bring Alex Rios to the plate. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. The Tremendous point. situation now for the White Sox. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense and somebody they've really come to rely upon. It's going to be Przinski. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Horrible pitch, but he went after it. It's a strike. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out, and a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. It's up against the wall. And he scores from second base. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. 
Number 25. Well, that's three consecutive wow. hits he's given up. He can't be out of gas yet. He just has to bear down and get somebody out. They don't want to go to the bullpen this early in the game. And Mark Tian up. Well, they've definitely got a rhythm going right now. Each player feeding off the other. Uh, that was a good piece of hitting right there. He got his pitch, took advantage of it, drove it, and picked up the run. You're out. And Tian swings and misses strike three. Well, a great job getting an 0 and 2. Number third pitch was unhittable. Yes, he figured why waste to pitch, save the arm. He did. Nice job. Runners at second and third with two out. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. First pitch, a sinker in there, 0 and 1. Over his career, going 291 off Detroit. There's a swing, line drive, center field. It's another one down, that'll score a run. And the throw, tagged at home, and he is out of there. So they pick up four hits in the inning and two runs across. White Sox up three. End of the order. And it's Everett batting. It's Everett batting. Uh, I just not pick up the ball very well out of the pitcher's hand last time out. Struck out every at bat. Bedard gets set and delivers. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. Last game for the Tigers was a win. So after splitting the first two games, a good outing to finish that series ahead 2 to 1 against the Rays. Slider locked him up. He's behind 0 and 2. Bats came alive in that last game late in the ballgame. Well, anytime you have an offense like this that can come back in the game, that's a great win. Oh. Trying to get him to chase a slider, but it's 1 and 2. The one two on its way towards the middle. Bedard. You're so ever it is retired. And Brandon Inge at the plate. One out. Bases empty. And Inge settles in for the first pitch. Bedard gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. Well, if you're going to be late on the fastball, you're going to have trouble hitting up here, and he's struggling right now. And with two strikes on him, now in, she'll protect the strike zone. Hit one out of the ballpark last time out, solo home run, and look for him to have some momentum coming into this game now, feeling good about himself. Coming down. down on strikes there, a nice piece of pitching there. A good sequence of pitches right there using location and selection to get the strikeout. And Guillen's batting. He's been playing a lot of time, 13 years at the major league level. Now Przinski sets up. Swing and a miss, but he was right on it, 0-1. Bedard gets set and delivers. Ian taking that one. It's in there. I did not swing at that pitch. I mean, he throws your fastball right down the middle. You got to be ready when you get your pitch to deliver. Oh! Ian will foul that one away. You're Check, out. swing, strike three, call. Side retired. No runs, no hits. Nobody crossed the plate in this half inning, and nobody left on base. The White Sox still on top. It'll be the leadoff man trying to get things going here. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne, along with John Crutch, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Johnny Damon at the plate. 
Yesterday, White Sox picked up the win. One game after another, they really do not seem stoppable right now. They're just piling up the W's. Well, Gary, this is going to be some great summer baseball for these guys way out in front and looking very, very strong building on this terrific season. That's one away. Look now at the hottest bat. State Farm, our leaderboard for the highest batting average over the last 10 games. Hey, look at these hitters. They're really the guys with the most versatility. The ability to drive the ball to left field, to right field, and hit the fastball, the curveball, the slider. There's really not a pitch these guys can't hit. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. Two away. And a chance now to see where the Tigers sit in the American League ranking. Tenth in home runs. Another the batting average of runners in scoring position. And obviously speed not a real part of their offense over the last month. They just do not seem to have that instinct on the bases right now. or utilizing that speed. They're looking more for power numbers. Sinker swung on Mesto on one. It looked like he was fooled. He wasn't ready for that sinker. And a ground ball. Cabrera. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Well, two quick outs in the inning. You think maybe this is one of those quick innings and the other team gets in and they get some momentum. But he keeps ending alive with that base hit. He's the league leader in hits. Here it comes. A swing and a foul off to the right side. A swing, line drive, deep left field. That'll retire the side, caught by Guillen. It's called short work of three. Took six pitches. Next up, the Tigers. Things will start getting difficult with the third man in the order lurking ahead. Ozzie Guillen taking a look at you right there. This ball club has produced the offense necessary so far. His work now to make sure they keep this lead. And here's Miguel Cabrera. And he starts Cabrera out. Bedard gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. Credit the catcher on that one. That's a good low target setting up, and he hit the target. Good execution. Hit sharply towards the hole. And out. Pitcher makes a nice play at first base. That was a nice play. Saw the opportunity at first. Didn't waste any time getting over. That's the key. Beat the runner to the back. Good hustle off the mound. The pitch lined up the middle and in there he's two for three today. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. And they're also number one in ERA. Their pitching staff getting it done better than everybody else right now. You limit the runs scored. You give yourself a chance to win. Now the first pitch hit hard to second. Yes, a great situation for some offense. Well, anytime you're a hitter, you can get three hits in a game. You're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. Swinging the ball hit softly towards the hole. And that gets the tying run on board. Here's a prime production opportunity for the Tigers. A real pressure mounting right now. That base hit loads up the bases. He's going to have to make a pitch and try to get out of this mess. Bases are loaded here with only one away. Here's the first pitch. Hit on the ground up the middle. And he's up with it. There's one. They pick up three hits in the inning. They leave the sacks full. The White Sox eight. Tigers five. And Beckham's in the box. He'll get things started. Home half. Fifth inning. Jordan Beckham. And the first pitch. That's swung on and a liner here. And that's going to go through. That could be trouble.
He'll hold there at second base. Bernadine with a double. Well, this is just a good piece of hitting right here. No out starting the inning, and you're on and you're put yourself in scoring position. That's big. And Alex Rios up. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the lead. And he'll step on the bag. That'll be the first out. A look at the home runs being hit this month on our State Farm leaderboard. Well, it's such an asset to an offense when you hit the ball out of the ballpark, and these guys are clearly so important to their teams. That ability to drive in a run from first base or to drive yourself in from the plate. It's going to be Przinski right there in the top five in home runs. Look out, and that ran in and got him. Well, that's going to leave a mark right there. Big old wealth on him. He's going to need some ice when he gets back to the dugout. And that'll bring Mark T into the plate. Look here with that hit batter we just saw. Now two runners on base. A little rally starting here. And maybe the pitcher will get a little bit rattled. Fastball swung out of miss, 0 and 1. Now you watch and see how the hitters react to it. Are they looking for that next pitch down the middle, or they think maybe they got to wait him out? And the pitcher has to regroup. He's got to settle down out there, not panic, to get back in the strike zone. Trying to hit that one to the parking lot, but missed. One and two. Had a real strong offensive game last time out. Three big base hits. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. It comes off the wall in right center. They score the run. And here's Pazinski heading home. And safe at the plate, he comes across. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. Number 27, Jim Tome. Now this pitch just cuts right over the heart of the plate. The hitter handled it perfectly. Mm. That's one of those where you've uh, you've given in by making a bad pitch and, and really made it much easier for the hitter. Yeah, he's better than that. Bear down. And Jim Tomey. And the offense here is putting on the show. Right now they're in charge of this ball game. Uh, Gary, they keep lumping the hits together. They keep pulling away right now. This thing could be soon out of reach. Well, maybe, Steve, this one already is out of reach. they got to find some fortitude to get back into this thing. Tommy will foul that one away. Uh, Gary, as you were saying, I mean, it may be getting out of reach because right now they're grand slam proof with the lead. So a lot of pressure off the pitcher. Go out, throw strikes, go right at him. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. That's impressive breaking action right there on an 87 mile an hour pitch. So Johnny Damon thinks RBI, one of the best batting averages in the league. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0 and 1. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense, and somebody they've really come to rely upon. Trying to get him to go after that slider, but it's one and two. A career day, last game out, and all the people are talking about the fact he had three home runs in that game, and the question is now, can he stay hot and keep driving the ball? He was uh, able to ring up that K, and that's going to get him out of the inning. They score two runs, two hits, one left off. White Sox, they've got a commanding five-run lead. Catcher, number eight. It's layered at the plate. And the first pitch. Right. And Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. The hitter lays off this pitch, realizing you can't do much. When you get that kind of four seam fastball down and away, it's tough to hit. And it's 0-2 now. Gerald Laird in a swing situation here. On the ground to second. Beckham. Retiring Laird. Our State Farm leaderboard. Teams who have great control, not walking people. Number one, the White Sox. The Royals in second. Third, the Mariners. Rangers fourth. And it's the Yankees, number five.
Will you ask any manager and any pitching coach in baseball the one thing they really hate to see and that's putting guys on base without having to swing the bat. Well this team does it better than anyone. They don't walk people. They're the best in the league at it. And when you have a pitching staff that's going to throw strikes the defense around them are going to play so much better because you're always on your toe knowing that swing and a rocket towards short and that's going to be a base hit forever. Now That'll bring Brandon in job. Well, that's all you can ask your hitter to do. Find a way to get on base, and he does with one out that base hit right there. A little bit of momentum. Let's see if they can move him around and possibly score a run. And that finds the outside corner for strike one. Lifetime numbers 219 off the white side. No balls, one strike. Here's Bedard. And with two strikes on him, now in, he'll protect the strike zone. This pitcher being very aggressive, throws putt shot towards the hole. And Inge has got himself a base hit. Now Fantastic chance here. That's a really good pitch, Steve, on an 0-2 oh, offering to keep that yeah. down and in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat to the batter. That's a solid job. First pitch, A.B. begins to get it. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. Hit hard on the ground to short. And he scoops it up. One. Decides not to try for the double play. Hangs onto it. Number 24. Two outs and in the box. Miguel Cabrera. Now if you got a chance to watch the last ball game, you saw the quality of bat he had. He worked the count, got a pitch he could hit, and hit the ball out of the ballpark. Good piece of hitting. Nice job. Fastball just misses. 1 0. Oh. Lifetime, a 222 oh. average against Bedard. Grounded up the middle. Beckham. And he'll step on the bag. That'll do it. They pick up no runs on two hits and strand one. The White Sox 10, Tigers 5. And if you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Crook and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. He homered earlier in the ballgame. Well, a pitcher's best friend is the defense, and boy, he made some tremendous plays. A couple of great plays in this one. The pitch. There is a swinging liner headed towards the left field corner. All the way to the wall. Stops at second. Two back. Oh, Alexi Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. First in doubles, third most in hits. Uh, he, you notice he's also ranked in the top five in batting average. A guy that puts it in play, finds holes, and finds a way to get himself on base. Paul Canerco to the plate, runner in scoring position, while leading the league in home runs. Here's the delivery. Takes a swing, but he's too late on that one. Strike one. Here's the pitch. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. Ian will field. And he meanders over to put it away. And he holds the runner at second. Now batting for the Chicago White Sox. Right Carlos here. Quinton Number batting now this one down. A couple of RBIs Quentin. thus far. Well, the team winning, he's been a big part of the offense. Driving him in the run with a base hit and then the home run where he got a pitch that he could drive out of the ballpark and capitalize on it. Hit sharply towards the hole. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Let's take a peek at the league's State Farm sponsor leaderboard for RBI. Well, these are the run producers right here, the guys that, that ultimately decide whether your team wins or loses. They can pick up RBIs in any situation. And Laird spotting the pitch. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. That runner in scoring position right here. And obviously, they want to try to avoid that two out base hit. They've been burned in this game offensively already. So they need an out right here. Put up a zero. Now swinging a shot towards second. 
He's throws on to first in time to retire the side. Seven pitches and it's done. That's how you save your arm and go deep into a game. Next up, Tigers. Clean up batter. Do up next. And Maglio Ordonez to lead it off. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Maglio Ordonez. And Ordonez settles in. First pitch. Back up the middle. Oh, man, was that close. That was right back at him. Somehow he got out of the way. Now up to and the so there he is the at first Tigers. base, and there's Center still nobody out. We talk about a guy who's swinging it Ryan right now as Raver. good as anybody. That's his third hit of the ball game thus far. Let's see if this can mount a rally with nobody out. Right and one. Bernard has him 0 and 1. That one a called strike. Look, Gary, with this big a lead here in the seventh inning, it's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strikes, get outs right now. Towards center field, and it gets down. Hit after hit, they just keep on coming. He's got four today. Now, Here's a prime production opportunity for the Tigers. We talked about a guy who's just wearing out the opposition. That's a four-hit day for him. He is locked in. Here's the first pitch. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. When you can mix speeds and hit your spots, this is what you get. Nice pitch. Called strike outside corner. Quickly in the hole now, 0 and 2. Hot shot towards the hole. And through for a base hit. Three for three on that one. And Ordonez scores. And the Detroit Tigers. Wow, what a momentum swing for them. We're talking about a guy who's swinging a pretty hot bat right now. His third hit of this ball game, and it comes with nobody out in the inning. Larish at the plate. Well, it's a little bit of redemption here, Steve, but you got to wonder if the uh, hurdle's going to be too much. Look, Gary, after that hit, they're not out of this just yet. A couple more big hits. They're right back in this game. Now the first pitch. Strike one. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him oh. up a little bit. Lays off that fastball, and it's 0-2. On the way. Ground ball to short. Up with it. Over to second for one. Back to first. Not in time. One and two won't get it. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. No, they wanted to. Runners at first and third. One away. First pitch on the way. That one is hit well. Quentin's there. Two away. Chance here to see the pitching staffs of the lowest ERA for the month brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the White Sox, the Yankees second, the Royals third, the Angels fourth, and for the Tigers, fifth. Both of these pitching staffs have gotten the job done over the last month of the season, really limiting the runs for the opposition. It takes a lot of pressure off the offense when your pitchers are pitching so well. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. Well, it's getting late right now. Two outs here in the seventh inning, and you know, they're down by a bunch of runs. They need to start to get something going right here, Gary. Ground ball towards the second baseman. Back up. Throws on to first. Side is retired. They pick up one on three. Hits strand a man. Tigers really battling here to get into this game. Starts Rios out. Strike Swings one. and misses. The sinker, 0 and 1. Lifetime going two for eight against Galarraga. Hit in the air. How about the catch by the fan in the stands right there? Boy, he just went into his uh, fan crowd there and snagged that baby away. It was a great play. He should have seen it. He had his eyes shut. Here's the pitch. Hit hard to second. So Rios is sent down. Let's take a peek at the league leaders and hits brought to you by State Farm. AJ Brzezinski. It's going to be Brzezinski. To try it again. Hit by a pitch as last time. Bring it, White Fox. Nobody on base. One away. First pitch. 
Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. Well, that's a great pitch right there, that hard sinker. He just can't catch up. He sends this one in the air towards center. And Rayburn's able to get to that one. Two away. And here's Martin. He doubled home a couple in his last at bat. Well, he's already driven in a couple runs in this one, Gary. You gotta believe they're gonna pitch him a little bit more carefully this time around. Base is empty with two outs. First one to T in. Here's the pitch. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0 and 1. He's at an even 200 lifetime against Armando Galarraga. Takes a swipe on that pitch in the dirt. Not sure if he saw that. Lines this one to the left side out of play. Fastball swung out and missed, and the sides retired. Three up, three down this half inning. The White Sox 10, Detroit 6. It's going to be Inge. He's going to lead off here as we go to the eighth. Number 15, Brandon Inge. Bedard gets set and delivers. First pitch, and he misses the fastball. Strike one. Uh, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so th they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try oh. to do something now. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. And he strikes him out. He catches Brandon Inns looking for something else. That's some kind of break right there for an 80-mile-an-hour breaking ball. That's tough to do. That much break for that much velocity, tough pitch. Got him looking on a breaking ball. A pitch that moves like that is something that is very useful to a pitcher if he's throwing it with confidence. And you can see that what a weapon that is. And the first pitch. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. Look, Gary, it was one out right here. They still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the ninth. Well, that's hit well off the bat again. It's down a base hit. Now batting for the Detroit. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. For the way he went after that in the box, Stephen, looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. One out, runner on at first. Bedard gets set and up the middle. And Cabrera's got himself a hit. There's the throw. He is now safe at third base ahead of that play. Good offensive chance here. Maglio Ordonia. The infield played it deep like they knew he was going to swing away. He did, but was still able to find a hole. And we'll get to see Tony Pena pitching. The White Sox turning to a reliever here. Well, it's about time. I mean, I don't know what they weren't seeing from the dugout. They should have gotten out of this game a lot earlier. Filed off that first pitch, and it's 0-1. Here's the pitch. Maglio Ordonez not fooled by that one, and the count is even. Career average 337 off the White Sox. Call fastball. Now the count one and two. The one two pitch. Swung on and hit. It's going to be Quentin. And Detroit should pick one up. Well, he just continues to swing a hot bat in this one. Is that four hits for him now? Yes, it is. One out with runners at first and second. First pitch, here it comes. Ball! Oh! 1 0 pitch is a fastball, swung on and missed. 1 1. Okay, this is how you mount the comeback. Each inning, you get runners on and you find a way to score. They've been pecking away at this lead, now just down three. And he looks at the slider in there, and it's 1 and 2 now. Well, now within three runs in this ball game, Gary, you really have to credit this offense. They've been relentless, continuing to put the pressure on inning after inning. Oh. Fastball just about had him, and it's a 2-2 count. Okay, they've cut this deficit to three runs, and they continue to put the pressure on. 
They've got to have some confidence right now. They're back in this ball game and got to be feeling good offensively. He delivers. And that's another foul ball. You know he was hoping right there when he threw that fastball, as long as this at bat has been, that he would get that big strikeout. Now he has to regroup and go back to work. Swings and grounds this one foul wide a third. Well, he finally got the pitcher to make a mistake on that eighth pitch of this at bat. He wants that one bad. He'd like to see it again on the ninth pitch. Hit it good, but didn't keep it going. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. Second, two strikes, the hitter wanted the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. A chance to find out what these guys are made of right now, Gary. Had an RBI single his last time to the plate. Swung on, line softly toward the left side. And it's caught by Ramirez. So they scratch across a run. Three hits and a couple left on. Tigers really battling here to get into this game. And Jim Tomei to lead it off. Two for three thus far. He's just on a tear right now. He's seeing the ball so well. He's driving in runs, scoring runs, hitting home runs, doing a little bit of everything to help his team win. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. Here it comes. Strike, strike two. Galarraga now in control. Let's see how he uses these pitches. But well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by. Swing and a miss on the slider. One up. Good chance to take a look at this slider right here, Gary. Well, this one was running down and away, but even if he didn't swing at it, it might have still caught the corner. Yeah, John, that pitch was pretty perfectly placed. Nothing you can do about it. And it's Johnny Damon now. Base is empty, one out. First pitch on the way to Damon. Hit up the middle. Oh, mercy. That did not miss him by much, but he got out of the way. Now Time to take a look at the on-base percentage leaders brought to you by State Farm. What a tough group of hitters right here in Pittsburgh. They battle, they scratch, they claw, they find a way to get on base. And they really wear down the opposing pitcher. So Alexei Ramirez is batting. One down, runner at first. And Ramirez settles in, first pitch. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0-1. One. one for six career numbers for him against Armando Galarraga. And a ground ball, Cabrera. That's one out. Over to first, he is safe. Almost a double play, not quite enough time. Here's the Central Division race as it stands going into the dog days of summer. Brought to you by State Farm. First place, the White Sox. In second place, it's the Royals. Twins in the third spot. Fourth place, the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. Now, pretty surprising the way this Tigers team has played this year. I think disappointing for the whole organization, for their fans, for the city of Detroit. They thought they'd compete, and they're just not getting it done. Here's the pitch. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. Bounces up against the wall. The throw. Ramirez around third. Headed to the plate. He's in there. Wow, tremendous hustle all the way from first. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. having a heck of a day so far. It's his third hit of the game in this one. They just can't seem to find an answer for him. Joel Zumaya is going to be pitching as the Tigers decide to bring in a reliever. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? Well, the manager signals to the bullpen. Oftentimes, he wants a power arm. And that's exactly what Joel Zumaya brings is a power fastball. Clocked over 100 miles per hour multiple times in his career. He also has a power curveball as well. 
Health has been an issue in the past, but when healthy, he's unhittable. Oh! And it holds at 0-2. Slider swung on and missed. Struck him out. That's going to retire the side. So they score once on two hits. One man left. The White Sox. Four run lead. It'll be the bottom third of the order coming to the plate. For those of you just coming on board. Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Kruk. Bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And we'll get to see Bobby Jenks pitching. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. Johnny faces these Detroit hitters. Main objective? Well, Bobby Jenks is one of these big, big closers that come in the game, kind of like they were back in the 80s and the early 90s. A big guy that comes out and throws absolute gas. Easy, smooth motion that generates 98 to 100 mile an hour fastball. He's a strikeout pitcher, and he finishes games. Here's the first pitch. Oh! Fastball runs inside, 1-0. Well, a non-save situation right here in the ninth inning, and they just want to get up. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Over to Canerco. One away. Honestly, uh, you know, winning big right now. You just want to go out there, make plays, throw strikes, force them to try to put multiple hits together to get back into this game. This one's grounded to second. Back up. You're a retiring layer. And it's Everett batting. He's had one hit four times up. Two outs, bases empty. Here's the first pitch. It's now 0 and 1. Watch that fastball go by. Oh, 1 is a slider. Third call strike. I don't think you like that call very much, but the reality is. He couldn't hit that any day of the week. That's a great pitch. Swung on and missed, and this game's history. A good all-around effort, Gary, by the White Sox today. Allows them to get the win. They've got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. Well, time to be stoned that Pepsi Clutch Performance Award. Well, you know, he had everything working today. And the biggest thing a pitcher can do is keep hitters off balance. Off-speed pitches with a fastball mixed in. He was he had everything working in this game today. And that's why they got him for performances like this. And Gary, that's why we named him our Pepsi Clutch Performer of the Game. And Steve, they're able to win this game where they're handling. A little bit of home cooking here that was right on from the beginning. Now, Gary, as a player, you always like having the 10th man out there, and these fans provided that today. They were into it. And until next time, this is Gary Thorne, along with John Crock and Steve Phillips. We'll catch you at the yard.